Hello, this is time, speed and distance lesson 9. In this, I will discuss very interesting topic that is clocks. Now, you must have seen the clock. This is the clock. Now, you can see that both the hands that is hour hand and minute hand are now at the same point. This is the time is 12 noon. Now, both the hands move 360 degree in different different times. Your minute hand moves complete circle that is 360 degree in one hour whereas our end moves slowly now you can see that this entire dial that is of this 360 degree can be divided into 60 minutes so dial that is 360 degree the complete dial the both the hands move 360 degree in different different time and we have divided this into 60 minutes now one minute of the dial the gap of one minute on the dial represent 6 degree now for better clarity let's see this is 12 noon now at 12 noon the angle between the hour end and the minute hand is 0 so the angle is 0 degree I'm just making angle is 0 degree we always have to take the shorter angle although at 12 noon the angle between the hands of the clock you can say that this is equal to 360 degree but whenever we say angle uh, in clock topic so we will always take the angle that is less than equals to 180 degree that is the angle that we are going to take now look at this 1 pm now you can see that the gap between the hour hand and the minute hand this is equal to 5 minute this gap as we used to understand this gap is of 5 minute because hour hand is at 1 minute hand is at 12 so we said that uh, we used to say that this gap is 5 minute I told you that the gap of 1 minute on the dial is 6 degree degree so this gap is of 5 minutes so 5 minutes gap between the hour hand and the minute hand will convert into how much degree this is equal to 30 degree so we can say that at 1 pm the angle between the hands of the clock is 30 degree now at 3 pm you can see that the gap between the hour hand and the minute hand is 15 minutes and this angle would be how much as you can see that this is 90 degree angle so by our concept the angle should be 90 degree 15 minutes 1 minute of the dial is represents 6 degree so there is a 15 minute gap between hour hand and the minute hand so angle would be 19 degree 15 minute will make it 90 degree now this look at this 4 o'clock now before going to 4 o'clock uh, uh, again understand whenever the angles come in exam you always have to take the angle which is less than 180 degree now you can also question that this angle is 270 degree this is also the angle between the hands of the clock but we have to take the angle which is less than 180 degree so our answer would be 90 degree now next is 4 o'clock at 4 o'clock 4 p.m. or a.m. don't confuse between it it's the same time 4 p.m. or a.m. the hands of the clock will be in this position now you can see that the gap is 20 minutes which will equal to how much degree this gap will be equal to 20 minutes 1 minute is 6 degree this gap is 120 degree and the last one 7 7 p.m. or a.m. Now this gap is 25 minutes, 25 minutes is 25 into 6, 150 degree. So at 7 p.m. or a.m. the angle between the hands of the clock will be 150 degree. So in this uh, slide I have shown you the angle between the hands of the clock at the standard times, at fixed time 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Now uh, in the next slides we will discuss the angle between the hands of the clock at let's say for example 345 340 440 and so on now next i will discuss how the both hands of the clock moves both the hands move in the same direction now at 12 noon the angle between the hands of the clock is 0 degree both the hands are at the same point whereas at 1 o'clock the hour hand is at 1 and the minute hand is at 12 so minute hand complete the full rotation in 1 hour so minute hand minute hand cover the 
full rotation 360 degree minute hand was at 12 at 12 noon again comes to 12 at 1 pm so minute hand cover 360 degree in 60 minute or you can say that one hour so the speed of the minute hand the speed of the minute hand would be how much speed would be 60 minute 360 degree 1 minute 6 degree 6 degree per minute so the speed of the minute hand is 6 degree per minute so it means that in 1 minute minute hands cover 6 degree in 2 minutes it will cover 12 degree in 60 minutes it will cover 360 degree R end the speed of the R end you can see that R end was at 12 at 12 noon and it came to 1 at 1 pm so R end only move 5 minutes R end only move 5 minutes 5 minutes of the dial in 1 hour or you can say 60 30 degree the movement of R end is 5 minutes or 30 degree because 1 minute of the dial represent 6 degree so R end only move from 12 to 1 that is 30 degree in 60 minutes in 1 hour the R end move only 30 degree the speed of the R end would be how much 60 minutes the R and move only 30 degree. So one minute, this it would be half degree. So half degree per minute would be the speed of the R and whereas the speed of the minute hand would be six degree per minute. Now as both the hands move in the same direction, as the as both the hands move in the same direction, so relative speed, relative speed will always be the speed of faster minus lower that is 6 degree per minute minus half degree per minute this is 11 by 2 degree per minute that is the relative speed I told you that relative speed is the increase or decrease in the gap per unit time this is increase or decrease in gap per minute or per unit time you can say that now in cloak always the gap between the hands to the cloak will increase by 11 by 2 degree per minute so relative speed is 11 by 2 degree per minute the gap will increase or decrease at the same rate because each and every time the hands to the cloak are always moving in the same direction you can check uh, at the clock of your house and you can observe that both the hands always moves in the same direction so their gap will always either be decreasing or increasing and the rate of increase or decrease will always be 11 by 2 degree per minute now I'm going to discuss the first question what will what will be the angle between the hands of the clock at 440 p.m. now for all such kind of question we first have to make the standard time that is 4 o'clock at 4 o'clock what is the angle between the hands of the clock now you can see that at 4 o'clock the hands are at a gap of 20 minutes so this gap is 120 degree 20 minutes into 6 120 degree now what will happen at 4 40 pm both the hands very important to understand both the hands will move 40 minutes so minute hand will come at this 8 at this 8 once the time would be 4 40 4 40 pm is the minute hand will come at this point 8 now in 40 minutes the minute hand will move how much degree minute hand speed is 6 degree per minute so in 40 minutes minute hand move will move to 40 degrees now this is 120 degree this is also 120 degree so this is the total rotation of your minute hand minute hand will total move 240 degree this was 120 and this is over 120 so this is total of 240 degree now R hand very important to understand that R hand will not be there at fix R hand will also come down how much it will come down very important point to understand that the R hand the speed is half degree per minute so in, in 40 minutes R hand will move how much 40 into half 20 degree so in 40 minutes the R hand will come by come down by this 20 degree now this is the R end this this gap will be 20 degree 
बिकॉज बोथ द हैंड्स विल मूव साइमिल्टेनियसली मिनट हैंड कवर्स 240 फोर्टी डिग्री आर एंड विल ऑल्सो कम डाउन एंड एंड आर एंड विल ऑल्सो कम डाउन बाय ट्वेंटी डिग्री नाउ द एंगल बिटवीन द हैंड्स ऑफ द क्लॉक एट फोर फोर्टी पी एम विल नॉट बी वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री इट वुड बी हंड्रेड डिग्री सो आंसर वुड बी हंड्रेड डिग्री नो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट इज द एंगल बिटवीन द हैंड्स ऑफ द क्लॉक एट टेन फिफ्टीन ए एम नाउ फॉर एवरी दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फर्स्ट मेक द स्टैंडर्ड टाइम स्टैंडर्ड टाइम वुड बी टेन ए एम एट टेन टेन ए एम द एंगल बिटवीन द हैंड्स ऑफ द क्लॉक लुक एट दिस एंगल द गैप बिटवीन द आर एंड एंड द मिनट हैंड इज टेन मिनट्स और सिक्सटी डिग्री बिकॉज द डायल वन मिनट रिप्रेजेंट सिक्स डिग्री सो टेन मिनट्स वुड बी सिक्सटी डिग्री एट टेन ओ क्लॉक द एंगल बिटवीन द हैंड्स ऑफ द क्लॉक इज सिक्सटी डिग्री नाउ फॉर बेटर क्लैरिटी आई हैव मेड द आर एंड इन द रेड कलर एंड द मिनट हैंड इन द ब्लू कलर नाउ वट विल हैपन एट टेन फिफ्टीन ए एम बोथ द हैंड्स विल मूव फिफ्टीन मिनट्स सो मिनट हैंड मिनट हैंड इन फिफ्टीन मिनट विल कवर हाउ मच डिग्री मिनट हैंड इन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स विल कवर फिफ्टीन इंटू सिक्स नाइन्टी डिग्री आर एंड आर एंड हैंड विल कवर हाउ मच सेवन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री लोग स्पीड इज हाफ डिग्री पर मिनट सो आर हैंड विल कवर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री इन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल कवर द रोटेशन ऑफ मिनट हैंड सो मिनट हैंड इज कवरिंग नाइन्टी डिग्री सो मिनट हैंड विल कम एट दिस प्लेस दिस दिस टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट एट थ्री सो मिनट हैंड will be at this place this three from here to here how much angle will minute hand cover this angle covered by the minute hand would be 90 degree but r end will also move from 10 towards the 11 because r end will also is moving both the hands are moving simultaneously so r end will cover how much degree it will go up by 7.5 degree so this r end will become here and it will cover 7.5 degree so this gap would be equals to 7.5 degree now what is now the angle between the r end and the minute hand so this angle would be how much if this is 7.2 this angle would be 52.5 degree now total angle between the r hand and the minute hand is now this one this i am making this this angle is how much 52.5 Plus ninety. This is one forty-two point five degree will be the angle between the hands of the clock at ten fifteen a.m. Now question number three. We need to find the angle between the hands of the clock at five forty-eight p.m. Now you should pause the video. Try to solve this question by yourself. Now at first we will take the standard time five o'clock. The angle between the hands of the clock is how much? Degree. This gap is twenty-five minutes, so this is one fifty degree. Now, one fifty degree is the angle between the hands of the clock at five p.m. Now we need to calculate the angle at five forty-eight p.m. Now it means that both the hands will move will move forty-eight minutes. So minute hand will cover how much degree in forty-eight minute? Minute hand will cover how much degree? It will cover forty-eight into six. This is six into forty-two forty. And sixteen to eight forty-eight, two eighty-eight degree will be the distance covered by minute hand in forty-eight minute. R end will cover how much uh, degree in forty-eight minutes? R end speed is half degree per minute. So in forty-eight minute, R end will cover only twenty-four degree. So first we will uh, check where the minute hand has reached. At five forty-eight, minute hand will be at this place. Forty-eight. Now total angle covered by the minute hand is how much? This is two eighty eight degree. So this angle was one fifty. So this angle would be one thirty eight. So total angle covered by minute hand is two eighty eight degree. So one fifty plus one thirty eight. This is equals to two eighty eight. That is the total angle covered by the minute hand. So minute hand will be at forty eight pointer when the time would be five forty eight p.m. Now R end will not stay there. R end will also come down because the both the hands are moving simultaneously. So where how much degree it will cover twenty four degree. So R end will come down by this much degree. This is twenty four degree. This angle is twenty four degree. 
now what will be the actual angle now between the hands of the clock it will be just by making this green this is the actual angle now between the hour and and the minute at hand at 5:48 pm this green i am making now this is this would be 138 minus 24 this would be how much this is 114 degree so angle between the hands of the clock at 5:48 pm would be 114 degree so that was all about this lesson in next lesson i will continue with more on clocks thank you